Welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be doing a SkillNut video, kind of like a workflow process. Should be showing you more of SkillNut. I'm logged in and ready to go. I'm going to be using this tool more and doing more videos as you guys have requested. I don't know why it says trial expires in seven days. I believe I have a plan with them. So that's kind of interesting that says that. But then before we do that, just wanted to mention a couple things, kind of like announcements, I guess. So I'm just kind of curious going back over to AppSumo real fast, right? And just looking for Longtail Pro. And remember, they were just advertising the heck out of it. You know, got to at least give it to AppSumo. They really did push hard with Longtail Pro. They probably thought it was going to be a really good deal as well. But it's certainly not on the top as a headline up here at AppSumo, right? And then when we go through and look at what's hot, we also can look through here and see that it's just literally gone. Now, <clears throat> one test I would have liked to do was see if this was, if all this was gone before I left my review, because maybe there's an algorithm built in. I'm not sure if you leave a, a kind of a bad review. If you give it like a one or two star, then maybe it just will not show up for you at all. I don't know if they have that sophisticated of like a, an algorithm at AppSumo. Um, but nonetheless, I believe that I had checked it before I left my review and I could already see that it was fading off nowhere to be seen. And actually, I know that I just looked at Longtail Pro and I'm not seeing a recently viewed over here for Longtail Pro. So they must have something in there where they're just not pushing this to anyone at all. I'm going to go over here, ending soon, customer favorites. It's nowhere to be found. So that's, I guess I'm just going to give a little bit of kudos to AppSumo today that at least if the app is performing terribly at some point, they do kind of take it off their page. I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing on your end. Maybe you can leave a comment below if you can go check your AppSumo dashboard and see if you can get long tail pro to show up for you maybe it, it does have to do with the review but nonetheless even if it does have to do with me leaving a bad review at least they're not throwing it in your face go pick this up or something like that or maybe since i already purchased the software no it can't be that because because pepper type i already purchased in it and they're they're show, showing me that right now they're showing me word hero i have that tool as well so i don't think it's because i purchased the software they're not showing it to me so anyway, I just wanted to point that out. And then also, even when you go over to software recommended, it's no longer in the top right here as a recommended tool and keep going through here. It's just fallen off the map completely, almost to the point where the only way you can find it is by going up here and actually typing it in to go look at it. Just wanted to go and look at the status of it. 28 reviews. It's holding two, two tacos right now. And then I wanted to just double check. I haven't gotten my refund yet, guys. I am planning on doing that in the next few days, maybe today or maybe in the next few days. I have checked with the tool um, every single day since I've done my update reviews as well. And a little bit of the tool has gotten better as far as the keyword research, but but as far as they're just their communication and the confidence level of the company, I'm definitely going to still be getting a, ref a refund. But I just wanted to double check my my uh, review is holding strong here, and I'm just happy that it's staying there. I don't know if I get a refund if I get to keep my review or not, right? So that's kind of interesting. But I will update you guys on that. I don't know if I've ever actually left a review and then gotten a refund and then actually check to see if my review stays or not. And then this is crazy. 43 helpful upticks right here. That's that's pretty cool that I, I'm just glad that I'm helping people make an informed decision if they want to buy the tool or not. The other announcement real quick. Last time, this could be the last time you have a chance to pick up this tool. One of the best tools that I've seen over the last year that I definitely recommend is pepper type right here. This is the last day. There's 16 hours. Maybe they'll come back, but I wouldn't want to gamble to on someone coming back. Right? So 16 hours for pepper type. And then this deal is gone and they have three tiers you can go in at. Many of you ask, what tier did I get? I got tier three on pepper type. I do recommend this tool. A lot of people uh, understand that 
They have such high reviews because they offered incentives on the back end. If you left a review, then they would give you extra words in your account and so forth. So, you know, I'm not going to get into if that's not a good idea to do that or not, but you also have to put yourself in the companies. If, as long as the tool is good and it works good and everything, then you have to put your, um, yourself in the, you know, like what's pre, let's, let's say that you're the marketing director or a marketing manager for pepper type and, you know, the CEO says, we want more reviews. Then you have to come up with creative ways to, and, and all companies do it. I just went to the dentist yesterday and 30 minutes after I got home, I got a, received a text message for them to go and leave a review um, for, you know, like a Google review or something. So they're soliciting their customers as well. It's a really good dentist office that has five stars, but they're also realize, they also realize that it's important to get reviews. So I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to get more reviews from people. At least they're showing that they're proactive and trying to get reviews. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. But nonetheless, those are the announcements, really long announcements. Let's go in and just show you a little bit of scale nut right here. I'll be sure to, I'm going to push pause right now in the video and go and update like my, I guess, video table, the table of contents or the, the video chapters. That way, if you guys want to skip that long intro, then I, you don't have to sit through it. All right, so we're in ScaleNut dashboard. Of course, there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can go over to templates and you're gonna see all these like just dozens of templates that you can use. Uh, I'm gonna go back over to the dashboard and some of the most fun, exciting tools that you can use kind of all in one tools that just speed up your process. It's really cool. They have keyword research in here. I really do believe that ScaleNut is probably becoming the best over all in one AI content writing tool. It has all kinds of different features that like writers in has, it has just a lot of different features, features that Jasper has and then unique features of itself as well. And the business continues to keep growing. I like to go and check this stuff as well. The business just keeps growing. They haven't been on, I don't even know if I, I definitely wasn't doing AppSumo reviews when ScaleNut was ever on AppSumo. So it's just cool to see that they just continued to grow their business after they left. And this is a great example of a software company that maybe they did do a lifetime deal at, at one time. They did use a little bit of a launch, which is nothing wrong with that, but then they, it's a real business, right? And they take their business serious. I've been in touch with them um, and gotten to know some of their leadership over there as well. And so I, I really think that this is a really good company. So I can vouch for them. So we're going to come through here and go to the plan content clusters section. And I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to say side. And when you type inside, I don't know where they're getting these suggestions from, but it's super cool that they actually have auto suggest to start filling in right here. So you have all kinds of different ideas. I'm going to go with side hustle right here. And I'm just going to push start. So you can see what it's going to do is it's going to go, and I already um, pre kind of did this so we can really, so I, I can be using the tool and know kind of what to put in my video, but we have side hustle. It's going out. You can actually see the status of what it's doing. It's going to go out and it's establishing semantic relationships. It's going to be doing clustering almost exactly like writer's end does. There's some other tools that come to mind that do clustering as well. It's a more popular way of doing your content and the way I'm going to show you what it looks like. And the way that I've been taught by people, by, you know, some SEO people that, you know, get millions of sessions per month. This is kind of how they do their keyword research going forward. They, they do clustering, they do keyword clustering. So if we open up the clustering report, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see right here, 120 clusters for the topic. You're going to see what the search volume for all these keywords to in total equal that, right? So not one of these equals that it's all of these equal that. And what this really, my understanding of what for, for clustering, my understanding is that this right here, like we probably wouldn't want to create a post on side hustle. We're not going to rank for that. It's just too broad. But once you start getting down here, <clears throat> I would look for a thousand or less. If you created one on side hustle business, you would include all these keywords inside of this post. And so this cluster right here should be a page. Some people interpret it as this could be a category on your site and then all these would be articles that is up for debate and there. You could argue both ways. Some people still argue that for every keyword, you need to create a post on your site. What I've been taught and the more of the method that I'm going is that this topic cluster right here is actually a page on your website. So you would create a page and the URL for SEO purposes would be side hustle business. And we would expect that maybe you wouldn't rank for this right away. It's still probably pretty competitive, but 
because you're putting all these semantic related topics right here inside of, of your your page on your site then you have more of a chance of covering the topic exactly the way google is seeing you're kind of basically telling us what we need to include right so that's kind of the way clustering works it's really cool to see that ScaleNet really does have a really good tool for this right so you can go and you can visually look at it it's nice and broken down like this and you could actually just do it this way if you wanted to. And then once you are ready, you would just click the create SEO doc to go out there. You can also go and export this whole thing. Okay. So you push the export button <clears throat> already pre did that ahead of time. And this is what it looks like, right? So it looks a little different than writer's ends. I would say writer's Zen, you know, it has, it'll have one keyword over here and then it'll have all, it, it just, it, I think that it looks a little nicer, but this also is just basically the way that Excel, you would, you would use Excel because you could come in here and add a filter right here and select what cluster you want to go with. And then it would basically just pull that up anyway. So nonetheless, what this means is that you would come in here and all of this would be one page, right? So you would kind of come in here and like, you could, you could go and highlight these. There are tools out there. So you'd come down here like this and then you'd basically highlight it like another color, right? Let's go with like gray. So then we have the 18 year olds right here, right there, and maybe another color and so forth, right? So each one of these is a page that you would want to create and the total. So search volume for the main keyword is right here. This is what you would create your page. And then you would have your search, your total search volume for all of this put together right here. All of this you can look down here. 2790 is what the total search volume for that cluster is, right? So that's a cluster. And what this basically clustering is, is that you have, you are positioning yourself. If you gain enough authority, you have the potential of ranking for all these keywords right here. And that all have to do with legit side hustles, right? <clears throat> so what I would do is obviously we would come through here. This is going to be a difficult keyword. I believe I already checked this one up. It's a difficult keyword. So we wouldn't go for that because it has a lot of search volume. So we would just keep scrolling. And then when you see these right here, this is super cool and super easy to fix, right? So obviously it's two, it's almost 2023. We would just change this great keyword right here. And we would just change this to 2023 and everything in here would just be 2023. And we'd really be going after this date uh, sensitive keyword right here. Okay. So that's how I would fix that keyword, but I'm going to keep going down and maybe we find this one right here, graphic design right here. I'm going to highlight this different color. Maybe we'll go with like a green or something. So this has low search volume. So we can kind of expect that the total search volume, right, is 440, okay, for this whole thing. But maybe we can rank for a couple of these if we create a really nice piece of content around graphic design side hustle. <clears throat> now, one thing I would do is I would take graphic side hustle and I would copy that, okay? Then we would come back over and we would go and look in key search graphic design side hustle and we get a 29. So we get a green score here. And I like to see like what the DA is. There's definitely opportunity in the top three or the bottom three spots, right? So to rank, and then I look at links. So really you get three links on your site and you create a better page than them. You're going to have a really good chance of ranking. Okay. So it might be a little bit tough to, to gain a ranking right here, but if you're covering the topic better than all of them, you, and you start getting onto page one, and then you start getting a couple of links, you could go out and rank for this very valuable keyword. Okay. So we have graphic design and then we can go check it one more time, do another check in COTD graphic design side hustle. And we still get a green score right here. It's just five off from what key search. So those are, they're going kind of hand in hand. They're both green keywords. So I really like that. So it kind of checks out, right? So we're going to come through here and I'm going to go find my keyword. It's graphic design. Okay. So I just type in graphic. We're going to go find our keyword graphic design side hustle. And then we're going to push this button, create SEO doc right here. We have all those keywords right over here. It does, it just does all the work for us. We're going to say, create the SEO document and it's going to go through and create our document for us. Okay. So once it's created, I think it took about 60 seconds to go through and create that. We're going to go ahead and push open SEO doc. It's going to open it up in a new tab. And then you're going to get all these different stats, statistics, grade level of content you need, word count of content you need in the top 10 is 2,200 words, how many images you need, the word count, how many headings, <clears throat> can add additional keywords, references, additional notes, can check the outline out, 
all kinds of good stuff. We can go, this is where you're going to create your content brief right here. I'm not going to walk through how to do that in this one. I wanted to really go over the content clusters or the keyword clustering that you're able to do inside of ScaleNet, which is a very powerful feature that not many softwares have. I think it works really, really well. Then it would take you over here and it did a bunch of the work for you. Now we would go in and we can start creating content right here. We can go into content brief and start creating our content brief over here as well. And you have outlines right here. This is where you're going to really use this to create a really robust um, piece of content in a content brief question, citation, key terms to include. It just has everything. It's too much to go over in one video. Don't want the video to go too long today. So we really wanted to focus on the keyword clustering of this video. So also right now, just important to include this real quick at the end. I'm going to go to scale net pricing real quick. And if you are over here at the build yearly right now, they're doing a 60% off of annual plans. And any sales that I've made as an affiliate, I would say 90% of them have been the annual plan because it's just the best way to do it. If you go monthly, you're gonna be, the growth plan is the most popular and this is what most people are signing up for. Um, so you're gonna pay $79 a month Yes, you get unlimited AI keywords. It's a, it's still a great price. It still beats Jasper's pricing and all that. But man, you can really get this down to $32 a month. I believe you pay like, what is that? 32 times 12. You pay 384 for the entire year. You get unlimited AI words, 30 SEO reports per month. You get cruise mode, all kinds of good stuff right there. So really some of the best pricing in the industry and the, the, the tool is extremely powerful. This is one of my highly, most highly recommended tools. I will be doing more videos on this and it's very exciting because I'm going to start using this tool a lot more in my business because I've the first article that I actually created with this tool and I kind of, if you will, really was lazy about it and it's ranking for a keyword that gets 170 visits per month and it's ranked, I last checked, number four or number five. It ranked almost overnight and it's whole, held strong for about, for a few weeks now. So the content that I wrote with ScaleNet ranks, I will continue to do more tests and I want to use the software more. So there'll be a link below. Go ahead and pick up 60% off annual plan if this is something you're looking for and I'll see you in the next video.